hello, my name is Sophia Marcarelli and I will be teaching you how to make the ultimate chocolate chip cookie. And when I mean this is like the ultimate chocolate chip cookie, it is the ultimate chocolate chip cookie. You know, like when people are like, oh, it's the best chocolate chip cookie. I will give you the best chocolate chip cookie you have ever eaten in your whole entire life. So let's do this. See here, I've already chopped up some chocolate, but you wanna get a big block of chocolate, either semi-sweet or milk chocolate will do. Please don't get dark chocolate. It's not gonna taste that great. I mean, it's still gonna taste good, but I, if you want the ultimate chocolate chip cookie, use milk chocolate or semi-sweet chocolate. Right now I have a big bar of semi-sweet chocolate and I'm chopping that up. And what I, what you wanna use is you wanna use a bar of chocolate. And I'm gonna make sure that's very clear because when you use a bar of chocolate, usually if uh, you are going to get more of a rich cocoa flavor instead of more of a cocoa butter flavor. So when you're using chocolate chips, it contains more cocoa butter than actual cocoa. So when you are using the, the chocolate that you're chopping, as I said, it gives you more of a rich flavor and it just tastes better. So I would definitely recommend using uh, chocolate from a chocolate bar. And you can get this, you can get honestly any chocolate from like Ralph's or Vons or whatever is your local grocery store. But the one I would actually recommend is if you go to Trader Joe's and get the big block of milk chocolate, that is usually what we use. But uh, I didn't have any of that at our house at the moment. So I'm just using a big block of uh, semi-sweet chocolate, which we'll do. So, now that I have chopped up all the chocolate, we're gonna set that aside and brown our butter. But before we do that, I just wanna tell you that all the measurements for these cookies will be linked down in the description down below. Okay, so now I am going to add my butter to my, my pan. You can use a saucepan if you would like, but I'm going to use this so it uh, browns faster. And we are just gonna let this melt and brown. So now we are going to be making the cookie dough after we got all the chocolate chocolate, browning the butter. And if you're wondering where the brown butter is, it is actually in the fridge cooling. So the first thing we are going to add, we are going to add flour. We're going to add baking soda. We're going to add some salt and we're going to give that a nice whisk to make sure all these ingredients are incorporated so they kind of get to know each other. That's how I like to think of it. So now that that is all mixed in, we are going to actually, in this bowl, I have my eggs in here. I'm going to add my vanilla and I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to add my brown sugar to my flour, baking soda, and salt. I'm gonna pop that in there. <laughs> that, that was like a perfect dome. So I'm gonna break that down and incorporate that into our flour, baking soda, and salt mixture. Now that I have uh, mixed this, all this brown sugar in, and it's all incorporated with the other dry ingredients, I am going to show you the brown butter and it is like an amberish color and it smells so good. So when you make this, you're going, your house is gonna smell like brown butter and you're gonna love it. So let me show you what it's going to look like. So this is what it's gonna look like. Yours may be slightly browner or slightly lighter, but try not to go a little too far over this or definitely try not to go under this. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Now we are going to add, you know, the eggs and the vanilla we put in this bowl. We're actually going to put that in to our brown butter. And the reason why we wanted to make sure the brown butter was cool, as I was saying, is you don't want to cook, scramble your eggs. You don't want scrambled eggs, okay? Because we're cooking this. And now what we are going to do, is we are going to pour this all in to our dry ingredients. I'm gonna set my whisk over here and go on to a spatula. Make sure you get all that brown butter 
out of the bowl. Can't forget any of that good stuff. Um, and now what we're going to do is we are going to mix this in until it forms a dough. Okay, now this is all mixed up. I actually changed bowls because the other one was actually too small. Now I'm going to add my chocolate and I'm going to mix that in until it is well combined. Okay, so now that these are all uh, mixed in and the chocolate is all mixed in, it smells divine. I'm going to show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. A little sneak peek. And yeah. What we'll be doing now is we are going to be scooping our cookies onto a lined baking sheet, either with parchment paper or a silk hat. I have these handy dandy silk hats, they're silicone hats. So now that I have gotten all the cookies like punched out, these are going to go in a 350 degree oven for 11 minutes. Okay, so now that they are all done, uh, as you can see, now we are going to give it a taste test. Mmm, told you they were going to be the best cookies you will ever have in your whole entire life. Mmm, okay. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications, and I will see you next week.